Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review video for you on the Rouge Dior Ultra Dior lipstick in the shade 999. Hence the reason why I'm not wearing any lipstick right now. So let's get to it. So ever since I purchased the MAC lipstick last year in the shade Ruby Woo, I've really been enjoying wearing the color red on my lips. So when I saw this new Rouge Dior, I just thought, mm, it looks really lovely. And I had actually planned on buying it for myself. But it just so happens that recently for my birthday, my work colleagues bought this for me along with um, the uh, Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit, which I absolutely love. So it was really, really nice of them to buy it for me. So here's the lipstick. See, the packaging is really pretty. You've got the, the CD on the lid, and then you've got this lovely canage pattern, which is what you would find on the Lady Dior bags. And this beautiful shade of red. So on the Dior website, it's actually retailing for £30. So I believe that's probably around about um, 45, 50 US dollars, something like that. I'm not sure of the exchange rate. And on the website, this is the description, it says, Rouge Dior Ultra Rouge is the first incredibly long wearing lipstick with the comfort of a lip ink, a true revolution in the history of lipstick. Ultra Rouge offers a lightweight, ultra comfortable formula and all the colors of a high pigmentation lipstick. Mm, sounds good so far. And I think in total, there are about 25 shades. And this one is in the shade 999. There isn't a specific name for it. It just says Ultra Dior, Ultra Rouge 999. So let's give it a whirl. So I'm just going to use my um, red liner from Chanel. This is Framboise. So I'm just, I've already got just a little bit of lip balm because I always like to use some lip balm on my lips prior to putting lipstick on. There we are. I think that'll do. Okay, so. Ooh, it's really smooth, really smooth straight away. I can feel the difference between this one and the MAC one. Obviously, I think because with the MAC one, it was supposed to be matte. So it was a lot harder to glide on, but this is so smooth. Mm. It just glides really easily. Okay. It smells really nice as well. There's kind of like a, a sweet smell to it. It feels really hydrating. It doesn't feel drying at all. And it's supposed to last up to 12 hours. There's very, there's sort of like um, a 
hint of orange. So it's, it's sort of like a, a reddish, a, a red but with a, an orange tone to it. Yeah, I like it. It feels really light on the lips as well. So what do you think, guys? Yeah, I think it's really pretty. It's a really lovely shade. And definitely I can tell the difference between this and my MAC lipstick, which is more matte and it's a lot harder to put on. Um, with this one, there's no problems whatsoever. It just glides on really smoothly and you can definitely see a sort of like a shiny gloss. Um, yeah, so it feels very hydrating and which is uh, really nice because with a lot of these long wearing lipstick, they're normally quite drying. So this one feels very light and also I like the fact that it's got a nice sweet scent to it as well. So I know that 30 pounds is a lot of money for a lipstick, but if it's supposed to last for 12 hours, then obviously you're not going to have to keep topping up throughout the day. So I think one lipstick should last for a long time and it should go quite a long way. So I think it's definitely worth the investment. And um, so yeah, I'm just going to wear this for the rest of the day and see how I get on. But so far I really like it. So it's definitely got my seal of approval. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, even though it's short and sweet. And if you did, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to see what else I get up to. So until next time, take care and don't forget to smile. Bye bye.